He's gone, man. He gone with the win, bro. Yeah, he was, he was, out he was, of here, bro. He was trying to get off. I kept I kept holding him up. I tried to turn him around. He was like, all right, bye. All right. Okay, bye. Yeah, he's like, he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I will sure keep your number in mind and I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who are you calling today? Uh, we are going to call uh, some homes around the house I just sold, got, a, got under contract today, actually. So we're going to be calling that price point around 250 to 350 um, And we're in that neighborhood there. All right, cool. Well, without further ado, bro, let's get that phone dialing. I want to hear some, some people saying hello. I want some people getting mad, cussing you out. I want to hear some people saying, yes, sir, let's sell a house today. Yeah, that happens, doesn't it? Hey, yes, I'm looking for the property owner. Of, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm looking for the property owner of 2225 Merritt Way. Do you guys own that property there? No idea what it is. No, no idea. I got you. Yeah, this number is linking to that property there. I'm a local agent. I was calling because I sold a house in that neighborhood. Mm, no, I mean, uh, what part of town is it in? It's over there in Arlington, right off of 360. It's pretty much almost Mansfield, to be honest with you. Nope, nope. I have no idea about that one. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I'm a local real estate agent. You wouldn't happen to have any real estate needs, would you? Oh, but no, they're very good to ask, but no, I don't at this time. No, okay, okay. Well, you know, for me, I like to build relationships. I like to think long term, you know, maybe five, 10 years from now, you might want to get in the market. Do you have an agent you usually work with? Yeah, I do. You do? do. Oh, okay, okay. Long What's the name? Yeah, long term relationship. Oh, long term? Okay, so you know exactly oh, what I'm name? talking about. Eric, Eric LeMay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I know exactly. You're in great hands. Okay, okay. Well, I definitely appreciate you being gracious with your time with me, and uh, you have a blessed rest of your day, okay? You do too. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. A little warm up. A little warm up. Get the butterflies out. <laughs> <laughs> He says she has a long-term relationship. Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So sometimes, like that. And sometimes I'll hit, I'll hit them with, well, you know, I've been in this business a long time. I see agents come and go. Would it be a crazy idea we stayed in touch? You know, keep me as a backup. Yeah, yeah, long-term relationship. Sounds like she she found him on uh, Tinder. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, Mr. Branham? Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, no, uh, but we've already bought a house. You already bought one? I got you. Okay, I wouldn't call in to get you to buy or sell anything. Okay, yeah, I bought one. I got you. I got you. Okay, yeah, I, I just sold a house over in the area, and uh, I was just calling around, you know, see if I could help anybody else, which sounds like you guys are in good hands there. Well, I'm good, brother. Okay. I appreciate it, though. I got you. Well, let me ask you this, man. Down the line in the future, if you uh, you know, ever get in the market again, say ten years from now, um, do you have an agent you usually work with? Um, no, we worked with Century Twenty One uh, just because they were the seller on this. Got and, you. Uh, okay. I mean, it worked out for us in that case. Yeah, yeah, but, I got uh, you. I mean, you know, we'd be open to working with whoever. Yeah, yeah. For me, man, I just you know, I like to build relationships, so we kind of can have some familiarity with each other going down the line in the future. Would it be a, you know, a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out 10 years from now. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you your number. Okay. Okay. If you have a, you know, a good email, I can shoot you over all my info and uh, you can keep it on file. All right. Um. Nice. 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 Very nice. See, man, this is great to hear, you know, people, tweaking the script a little bit to make it work for them or what makes you feel comfortable when you say would it be a crazy idea like I like that because it's like you know where I got that from so I, I took I took a little bit of uh Quintavious's especially with the beginning like it's a bad time yeah I took that from him but then Chris Voss if you ever ever read Never Split the Difference no it's a good book man on negotiation you know he's a FBI former negotiator and he says, yeah. rather than getting people to answer yes questions because it makes them feel uncomfortable, you get them to answer no questions. So was it a crazy idea if we kept in touch? And they can say no. So it's, it's like supposed to loosen them up a little bit. And they, that's, I think, really believe that has a lot to do with a lot of the emails I get. 
Okay. So you say you say something to get them to say no, which means yes. Yes. Because if you say, hey, would it be all right if we stayed in touch? Yeah. You know, it's like, mm, I don't really want to do that. Yes. Mm. But if you say, would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? No. Okay. Okay. Well, it's the same thing. They're saying, no, I don't know if I really want to or not. It's the same thing. But yeah, it's, I like, I like both. Hey, Mr. Wynn. Yeah. Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, my name is Mark. I'm a realtor in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time there? Can you say again, sir? I said, my name is Mark. I'm a, I'm a real estate agent in Mansfield. So, why'd you call me for what? Oh, well, I was didn't want to take a bunch of your time. Uh, I just sold a house in your neighborhood off of Willowstone, and I was calling some neighbors to see if I could help anybody else. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I got you. I got you. Okay. Well, do you have a, a real estate agent that you work with if you ever get into the market? No. No? Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I'm just calling to see if I can help anybody, you know, maybe in the future, maybe five years, you might need my assistance or something like that? Would it be a crazy idea if we, you know, stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out down the line. Okay. 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 What's a good uh, okay. email for you, man? And I'll, I'll send you my information and you can have it on file. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Do you have a good email? I can, sh I can send you my information. You don't have email? Okay, where you get your Amazon package from? Ah, here we go. Gone? That, was, that was funny. Is he gone? Huh? Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was hoping you uh I was hoping you picked up on that Amazon thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right when he said that, I was like, I was thinking the same thing. Do you get Amazon? <laughs> do you got Netflix? Do you right. got Do you got Hulu? Do you? He seemed like he really. Hi. Hey, I'm looking for the property owner of six one one zero Flatwood Lane. I you are actually technically calling a nine year old boy. I'm calling a what? I'm sorry. Hey, you're calling a nine-year-old little boy's cell phone. A nine-year-old little boy's. Oh no. Okay, okay, I got you. I apologize. Yeah. I, I haven't even. I haven't even started beginning to get my my ten-year-old cell phone. I don't even know what that would be like. So call it again and see what happens. Call it again and see what happens. Okay, what what you gonna you gonna do something? Yeah, to me? don't don't call this number again. <laughs> okay, okay, get you. I got you. You take it easy. I hope you have a better day. Hey, this is Mark. Oh, I've got a missed call from this number. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. My name is Mark. I'm a realtor down in Mansfield. Mm, I didn't. I wasn't looking for anything in Mansfield. That's interesting. Okay, no, no, no. I, I, uh, I was just giving you guys a quick call. I sold a house over in the neighborhood there off of Willowstone, and so you know, I like to call a couple neighbors and just see if I can help anybody else. Um, I don't live anywhere near Mansfield. Oh, okay. This number was tied to a property I over there. The, I think you dialed the wrong number. I got you. But I think this number was tied to a property over there in Arlington. That's that's where I, I'm. I sold the house on Willowstone uh, over in Arlington. I don't know. I live in I live in Denton. You live in Denton? Oh yeah, you're far north. I got you. Okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. I got okay, you. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Well, let me ask you this, man. In the future, if you you know ever get into the market, do you have an agent you like you work with? No, I, actually, I'm not into buying anything right now. So right now. So. Yeah, I got you, man. I, right, man. For myself, man, I just like to, you know, build relationships. You know, maybe five, ten years from now, you might want to do something, and I'd love to work with you. Would it be a crazy yeah. idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out. Well, I don't know. I'm actually probably going to relocate to another state soon, but I'll okay. keep you in mind. For sure, Thank for you, sure. Bye -bye. Yeah, if you have a good email, man, I can shoot you my info, and, uh, you know, you can have it on file. He gone, man. He gone with the win, bro. Yeah, he was, he was, out of he here, was bro. He was trying to get off. I kept I kept holding him up. He was trying, though. He got to hear like this tight end. I used to know down to central Arkansas back in 07, 08 days. He yeah. hit the flats and he catched the ball and he be gone, boy. 
Let me get on. Hey, skirt, uh, skirt. <laughs> I, I tried to turn him around. He was like, all right, bye. All right. Okay, bye. Yeah, he's like, he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I will sure keep your number in mind and I'll see you later. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's oh. me. i'll talk to you jiminy cricket hello hey scott yes hey this is mark branson i'm a realtor over in mansfield did i catch it a bad time um this is a cold call and uh, my number's on the do not call list i'm sorry and you may not call this phone number again do you understand Oh, uh, I'm not cold calling you there, sir. Um, I don't know who you are, so I don't know why you would be cold calling, why you'd be calling me. Well, like, I said, I, I, like I said, I'm a little. He hung up. Yeah, sound like it. You could call back and say, I think we got disconnected there, but uh, like I was saying. I'm not calling that guy. <laughs> 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 I, was about to, I was about to hit them like I, I have a I have a different script that I use as well that'll mess them up and they they'll yeah. feel like ass they feel like you know they feel like some yeah some it's ass. Like, hold on hold a second bro yeah. what you know yeah. you're cold calling <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're you're cold calling aren't you <laughs> <laughs> uh, look you hear real hear realtor is automatically yeah. a bad thing man like bro you're oh, like yeah. no you're like no I'm I'm you know I'm not cold calling you he's like. Well, my numbers are on the do not call list, and you're not to call me ever again. 